Hello, my name is Firas Faham, and today we'll, we'll be talking about uh, the meaning of leading and lagging. Who, who like uh, leading and lagging are uh, referred to the voltages and currents inside an element, like for example in the resistor. This is a resistor, this is passive element, and then uh, the, in the capacitor, this is a reactive element. The capacitor is reactive, it's not resistive, okay, because it stores energy. And then we will talk about the inductor. It's also reactive, okay? So this has zero ohm at DC, which is zero frequency. And then as the frequency increases from zero and up, higher, higher, higher frequency means larger and larger impedance. Impedance is a signification of uh, like a resistor, but it's a resistor function of frequency, okay? While in the resistor, we don't have something called... Uh, called a resistor as function of frequency because assuming we are dealing with dc and assuming it's pure resistance there is no inherited there is no inherited uh, uh, reactive elements internally built uh, then it's supposed to be re totally reactive uh, i'm sorry resistive okay so resistive this is resistive now let's start what is the meaning of lagging and leading or leading and lagging the leading or lagging is based on the assumption that uh, the element, this resistive element, actually uh, has an input. So we apply on, this is the resistor, so we apply a positive voltage here, uh, plus and then, then and minus, so that's exactly what we are doing here. This is the resistor, so this is, this resistor is this resistor here, and this is a power source, okay? Uh, let's let's now assume it is dc because we'll talk about uh, the ac response of a resistor and the other elements so so what is the meaning of leading and lagging so it's it's, it's the meaning of leading and lagging is mainly b based on the assumption that this element and the other two elements the ca the cap and the inductor have uh, a voltage applied across them so the voltage applied across this resistor, this is the one pin of the, resi the resistor and this is the other pin. We apply a voltage at one side, this resistor and the, uh, uh, like, we just uh, attach this resistor ac uh, across the power source. And then we observe its behavior. Every element, whether it's diode, uh, resistor, capacitor, inductor, every diode actually has uh, what's called or every element has what's called uh, two analysis. So analysis, first analysis is called DC response uh, or a steady state response. And then it's what's called a, a transient response. Okay. So transient response, what will happen? What will happen at the moment uh, we apply the voltage across the resistor? What will happen at the instant or moment we, are, we apply the voltage across the capacitor? And same thing, what will happen the moment or the instant we apply the voltage across the pins of the inductor? So this, is, this, this analysis is called uh, transient analysis. It means the, the transient analysis here, I'll show you an example. For example, for, for capacitor, the transient analysis says that over a time, this, so this is the time axis. This is the voltage as function of time. What that means is at, uh, at uh, time equals zero, okay, the voltage is zero. But over time, over the time, the voltage increases and reach steady state. Stead, SS means steady state. For inductor, same thing. Uh, at at uh, time equals zero, this is time equals zero. At time equals zero, the voltage is maximum for inductor. And over the time, the voltage function of time decays. It reaches near, very near to zero. Okay. So, uh, why we are talking about that? Because this understanding will help us. It will help us decide which uh, which parameter. The parameter being here, voltage and current. Which parameter leads and lags. So in resistor, for example, the instant, the instant we apply the voltage across the resistor, what will happen? So this is the voltage. We apply it to the resistor. 
then the current flows the current flows inside the resistor what what will be the delay that the time delay between the the current started to uh, to move inside the resistor and the voltage uh, and the time it took the voltage actually to compose across the resistor theoretically and almost practically it's zero okay since since the voltage the voltage across the resistor and the current that that started to flow inside the resistor as a result of applying the voltage remember here the voltage is being the input so we have voltage input and current is output so voltage of source is the input and then this current flowing as a result of uh, the voltage is the output so we have input and output input to the device the voltage we say that the voltage was inputted to the resistor device the resistive element r and as a result of applying the voltage across the resistor we had a current flowing inside the resistor and when this happened a voltage is being generated uh, uh, you know uh, in this way so if the current is flowing this way then this becomes a positive and this becomes a negative okay we all probably know that so again the input is the voltage of the source and the output is what is the current exactly so input output same thing here we have a capacitor we have the input is the voltage and the output is current for inductor we have voltage is the in input for the inductor and the output is the current okay now let's move now the instant the instant we apply the voltage at the resistor what will happen the here we go the instance this for our resistor the instance the instance we apply the voltage both the voltage and the current actually uh, they 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 go uh, hand by hand and the steady state we steady state means after a while after the voltage and current have have stabilized or the flow or the flow of current has been has reached to a level where it is no longer changing up and down this we call steady state it means after a while okay so the moment we apply the voltage the instant time zero the steady state reaches uh, this fixed voltage almost instantly okay so in here in here we say that both the voltage and the current actually work by hand by hand so the that's why in in the resistor we say that that uh, the voltage and the current are in phase or they are working hand by hand so as you see here the voltage this is the this is the voltage okay this is the voltage and this is the current this is the current okay it, you as you see there is zero degree uh, phase delay there is no delay between them okay so we are done from this stuff. now for capacitor for this capacitor here this is remember this is a reactive element uh, it's a, an energy storage device is capacitor okay it's called capacitor or energy storage device so what will happen it's like imagine this is like a glass of water okay when when you uh, when you apply the voltage when you you apply the voltage to the capacitor it's as if that this is the water tap the water tap start filling uh, the the glass this glass with water so then the the, the water level uh, in inside the glass start to rise up 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 until the capacitor is fully charged the voltage the voltage here is analogous to the cap the charge that's building up inside the capacitors so that's why the moment we apply the voltage dc to the capacitor the charges the charge okay or or the current the current because uh, uh, the current is the rate of flow of charge okay so so we, we let's assume that the current is uh, the cousin of a charge or ch or vice versa they are brothers or sisters so so the instant we uh, the instance we apply the voltage across the capacitor the charge inside the capacitor assuming initial charge is zero 
after a, a some period of time after some period of time this much okay this time then we say that at this time the charge uh, or the voltage uh, across the uh, capacitor had reached the maximum but in the current the opposite is true the instant we apply the voltage the dc voltage to uh, across the pins of the inductor then uh, the voltage starts maximum but the current drops gradually until it reached near zero after a certain period of time those times like we we can relate to what's called time constant i will talk about time constant later okay so you remember that in a resistor both the voltage and current they go hand by hand but for capacitor that the current the current comes after because who comes uh, be, because uh, the, actually the voltage come or steady the voltage steady state in the capacitor reaches the maximum or steady state in other words the charges building up in the capacitor reach steady state after a time so which came first the charges or current or or voltage came first no the voltage came first okay so let's see here uh, the current uh, leaks uh, the current leads uh, the, the voltage so in here we say that in here we say that the current leads we say that the current in the capacitor we say that the current leads the voltage why because the voltage reach steady state as you see here this is the voltage as function function of time who came first and who came next we see here the steady state that came next is the voltage the steady state in the capacitor that came next next and reach the steady state next after a while is the voltage so this is the next so who was first the current so that's why we say the current came first or in other words we say that the current in the capacitor leads the, the voltage leads mean came uh, came came first so that's why we use the terminology here in the uh, case of capacitor we say that the current leads the voltage by 90 degrees okay and here is the representation uh, that the time function uh, representation now in the inductor it's the opposite of capa uh, capacitor who comes first in the inductor the inductor as we see is it's like a, a wire it's a wire but wanted around uh, a ferrite core and then connected to the pins we all know that because it is a wire at dc which is zero uh, frequency dc means zero frequency after a while uh, the, the resistance between this pin and pin between the those two pins of the inductor the resistance is zero okay so what that means when resistor is uh, when resistance is zero or uh, when when after a while or after steady state or after the voltage have reached a steady state or stabilized after the voltage has voltage have been stabilized over time then we say that it took zero volt because as we said later after applying the voltage later the voltage became zero why because inductor is a wire so if you if you have a wire and you short the terminal of uh, battery with the wire then the battery sees uh, zero ohm it's because it's wire right so so does the inductor it is wire okay but it is again it is an energy storage device we'll talk about that later okay so at steady state steady state means later so later means came next okay later the voltage was uh, stabilized when it was zero so who came first in the inductor the voltage or the current no the, the what come what came later is the uh, is the uh, uh, actually what came later is here we can see uh, what came later is the, so we say here current 
lag voltage by 90 degrees or the voltage uh, uh, leads the voltage leads uh, the current why because as you see here look at here you see the voltage came before the current so the voltage came before the current and here we can uh, safely assume that this is the current it's the opposite okay so this is the curve of the current okay i'm holding the camera so it's not a good and writing but so the voltage started maximum and after time it dropped to zero in the inductor but for uh, a current it started zero and was uh, stabilized at this level of the current okay this is another axe here we have to draw it because this is the axe of voltage so what that means in inductor voltage came first and uh, current came next okay so that's why we say we say the current lags it means the current came after the voltage or we can uh, safely say that voltage leads the current by 90 degrees so both statements are correct we can either say in for inductor for inductor we can safely say that it's either the current lags the voltage or the voltage leads the current in inductor they are both same okay so this will give you a clue of how to logically uh, uh, how to logically find out in this circuit in in those circuits here who leads who is it the voltage that leads or is it the current that leads now you have understanding who came first and who came next who, whoever came first whether voltage or current we say that 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 which came first is leading the other who came next we say that who came next whether voltage or current lags uh, is lagging who came first and and if we reverse the statement then logically they are both correct i hope uh, i have made it clear for you guys and i hope you have benefited if you have any question uh, please ask me by the way this uh, both of what's called this is actually uh, applicable to both uh, transient and steady state as i said this is that this is the region this is the region of uh, uh, let's uh, go here this is the region this is the region of transient state this is the region of transient state but this is the region or zone of steady state so this is steady state and this is the steady state now you tell me what is the transient region in here for resistor what is the transient region i'm i'm waiting for your answer there is no transient region so it's it's it's, uh, it's steady state from the instant we apply the voltage across the resistor okay why because this is the nat nature of resistive element the resistive element says that if you apply a voltage across uh, the resistive element assuming there is no inductor or capacitor built inside this resistor okay or res resistive element purely resistive element then there will not be a transient analysis or transient re region or zone only in capacitor and inductor there is what's called transient zone or time and then there is steady state zone or analysis okay now now a word of caution some resistors some resistors do have a, a parasitic uh, capacitor so in other words sometime you find a resistor that has both uh, a little amount of uh, inductor and little amount of capacitor how can that because because the the factory which manufactures manufacture this resistive element sometime uh, 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 like unconsciously or uh, 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 like uh, undeliberately they add resist uh, uh, capacitive and inductive element inside but it doesn't show very clear when you use it in your daily life circuits but it shows if you put it under microscope okay so so when you and when you do microscopic analysis then there will be very little amount of time here very maybe like uh, nanoseconds or microseconds where we can say that only in this tiny amount of time there is transient uh, a transient 
uh, region, okay? But in here, the transient region is very large. It's very clear compared to a, re a resistor. Why? Because this is uh, uh, an, uh, like a capacitive element. So in capacitive, because it's designed to store energy. So it takes time to store energy. And here, the, the inductor is designed deliberately to store energy too. So it's like a cup of water, whether in this case, a uh, cup of water or cup of water in this case, it takes time for, to fill the cup of water with water, okay? But here, is, you can imagine the resistor is as if, uh, uh, the, like it took an instant, almost no time for the cup to be filled with water. Well, it may take m maybe a few milliseconds, but here it may take maybe a few seconds. So as you see, that because of uh, 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 parasitic, because of parasitic uh, uh, built-in in, uh, inductor and capacitor inside the assumingly purely resistive element, uh, then there won't be any transient response. Or most of the time, like I personally, I ignore it be unless I go for like, uh, uh, gigahertz uh, transceiver design things like that but but here we cannot ignore them in uh, radio design we we can never ignore them right so so we have to be careful uh, also when when purchasing resistors for building a, a radio equipment especially as you go higher and higher in frequency like a, a uhf and gigahertz and things like that then guess what the resistors start behaving like an inductor so now the uh, the dark side of uh, the resistor is shown up when when you let high frequency signal go through uh, inside it and th then you start to see that those parasitic inductor and resist uh, capacitor inside the resistor well i hope this uh, have gave you uh, an idea about what is the meaning of time constant what is the meaning of uh, a transient analysis and steady state if those like transient state zone or region and steady state they do have a lot of uh, to do with designing circuits with those kind of elements so i hope you have found this uh, helpful to understand and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe because we we, we are uh, i am giving it some time to to help you guys actually i already know those things like 30 years ago so i don't need to put it on youtube but believe me i'm doing that to help the community because i know a lot of engineers who are going to school to university and uh, sometimes their professors don't have the talk time to explain to them and maybe they don't have even have the skill to explaining things the way i'm explaining to you guys okay uh, well, it just takes uh, people, uh, people or students who, who have opened their heart and mind to listen to experienced people like myself. So please like subs and subscribe and help me help you and I will help you. I promise I will help you guys and I will be with you till the end. Okay, God's willing. Well, again, thank you for uh, watching the video and thank you very much for dropping by and uh, don't forget to ask any question if you have any question and as always you have a wonderful day